Hi, my name's Tina. I'm studying at Aalto University in Finland. You probably know what it's like to write up a project report for your courses. You spend hours trying to impress your professor, packing in as much information as possible, and then spicing it up with some tables and figures. But somehow, it doesn't have the desired effect that you'd hoped for. You get your paper back from your professor with question marks and red ink. Yet you still don't understand what went wrong. You have all the pieces, but somehow your professor doesn't get it. So, what do you do? And guess what you find? This video. Here is what I learned. First, you need a powerful engine that will drive your idea through the paragraph. This is called a topic sentence. It contains the topic and the idea that will control the paragraph. Now that you have this powerful engine, it's ready to pull its load. Following the engine is an important train car that provides a power source for the engine. Think of this train car as a supporting idea. Connected to that first important car are two more train cars. The function of these cars is to boost the power source. These are the ideas that illustrate the supporting idea. Now, since you have this powerful engine, you want to make good use of it. So, let's add another important car and two more booster cars. This is the minimum for your powerful engine. Two supporting ideas with boosters. Now your train is almost ready. All you need for completing it is the caboose. That's the last train car, and it creates closure. In a paragraph, it's called a concluding sentence. This sentence summarizes your overall main point, and it should contain some of the key words mentioned in your topic sentence. So now, it's time for you to try making your own train. Be sure to include all four cars, a powerful engine, two or more power sources with booster cars, and a caboose. For more help with paragraph writing, watch our next video.